guys have found the fountain of youth. Yeah. You, you, you know, my children, you have found it. Except you just have to maintain that level in your body and check it. Yeah. You gotta check my house. You gotta check my temple. That's just a, yeah. Now, what if uh, people's doctors, uh, their personal MDs, say, well, uh, maybe have something to do with Nobel Prize, but th that's not my field. I still want to give you the drugs. Uh, what would you advise them to do? I would not take drugs. I would do prevention first. Mm -hmm. In other words, I would, you know, be before I would uh, uh, take drugs, say I have diabetes. I go to my diabetic doctor. He says insulin and gluco uh, glucose lowering drugs. Okay, I said, wait a minute. Have you looked at the telomere of my pancreatic cell? Mm. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Have you looked at it? No, we haven't. Well, there's something wrong with you. The telomere must be very short. Okay? Yeah. Now the Nobel Prize that I've given to a bunch of scientists that I can increase the length. Mm. How are you helping me in that area? You know, insulin is just a crutch, isn't it? You have to take that for the rest of your life. It's a crutch. Anything you have to take for the rest of your life is a crutch. Mm. Okay? Mm. Are you treating? The cell, they treating my pancreatic cell. I want my pancreatic cells to make insulin itself. I don't want to take it extra. You see, that is the approach that they should take. You've had so many diabetics cured, but the AMA will not allow you to print that, right? Yeah, no, no. But someday, well, someday I will, uh, and that's the day I. Uh, we're doing all that. My first burden of proof is proof of no cancer. First, doctors should do no harm. So my first job is to prove that giving these bioidentical hormones to over 10,000, in fact 20,000 now, uh, people did not cause any cancer. That's the key, that's the key. Do no harm. Once I can show to the scientific world that I do no harm, now with the Nobel Prize Committee to so work behind me, and these scientists to work behind me, I got a tremendous boost. Yes, you do. Yeah, and Dr. Chen, you are such, yes, indeed, such a, uh, a champion. And we thank God for that. And, and please, if you cannot get a prescription uh, uh, to check your home, to just email me, and I'll send you a prescription free, absolutely free, to check all your hormones. And except New York State doesn't take out-of-state doctors' prescriptions. So New York resident, exception, okay? Right. If you're outside of New York, please, you know, you're welcome. That's my job. That's my duty uh, imposed on me by God to give you a prescription free of charge to check your hormones. Yeah. And if you're in New York City and you can't get that, it's it's a nice trip to... Uh, Bombay Palm Springs. No, I just drive across the town from New Jersey, that's all. <laughs> I'm trying to get our church to send me to Palm Springs. I don't want to go back to New Jersey. <laughs> I am not here to advertise my services or products. I know that. I'm here to pass the message. Yes. We want to pray right now because this information you just heard might seem somewhat insignificant but it is life transforming. Dr. Chen is a born again Christian. He loves Jesus. He, he pulsates with discovery. And uh, Christian people, when they're in the spirit, are inventors. They are the first to see things because they see from a higher perspective. We want to pray for you right now. Father, in Jesus' name, Dr. Chen and I agree that those watching would receive information even now that would help them to understand how they can further glorify God in their